What are Sundays for? TV, relaxing, roast, and oh yeah, video games and consoles from the loft. <laughs> Well, welcome to part seven, and today for you, I've got yet two more tabletop classics from the early 80s. One's a sports electronic game promoted by a world famous snooker player, and the other is another Tomitronic game, but not from the 3D range, but actually a rather cool side scrolling game, Alien Attack. But first off, I'm going to start with this cue ball from Pally Toy, licensed from Parker Brass. Now Palitoy was a British toy company, I say was, as they closed in 1984. They released Q-Ball from under the license from Parker Bros, uh, Parker Bros being an American company founded in 1883 and are mostly famous for Monopoly. As for Palitoy themselves, they released many dolls and toys as well and they released many many classics which we should all know about such as Action Man, Star Wars figures, Tiny Tears, and of course, the Care Bears. Oh. Anyway, this is Paddy Toy's cue ball, so let's take a closer look. So this game is also known as uh, Shot Bank in the US, and here is cue ball, and ours was endorsed by Alex Higgins, and for you that who have no idea who he is, or, uh, he won the World Championship Snooker twice and is a, a legend in the snooker world. Uh, inside the box itself, I've still got the instructions and the polystyrene inserts, which is great. The actual console itself looks a bit like an alien spaceship. Um, in the battery compartment, you've got to have six AA batteries, but they won't be drained too quickly because they last quite a long time on this, so they're a good investment. On the front you have quite a few buttons. You have select and score for selecting three different ways to play pool, from straight pool to poison pool to trick shots. You have your ball up and ball over to position your cue ball on the screen. Next you have your angle and aim buttons to give you better accuracy and your cue and shoot buttons to give you different levels of power when hitting the cue ball depending on how long you hold it down for. Well they're the buttons, let's have a look at some gameplay. Well I'm going to show you straight pull which is the first game you can select. You can also play this two players but I haven't got a second player so if, anyway if I get on and select it right now. So here comes all your balls and here's your cue ball just like a normal pool table setup. A press aim to uh, shoot where you want the cue ball to hit. Obviously we want it to go into the main pack so we're ready to do that now. If you press Q up your cue will uh, come behind in lights and then you hold down the shoot button for as long as possible or however long you want to and then the ball will fire at different speeds into the pack. To identify your cue ball it is actually brightly lit, more, more brightly lit than the other balls. Uh, you can probably just about tell but to the player who's playing can easily tell. And then obviously I want to select a ball to hit next, so I'm probably going to go for this one here, and then obviously press Q up again, and then shoot, and see what happens. And it's, it gets really quite in depth, you can change the angles of where you want uh, to hit the balls, and there's also many other modes you can play. Uh, the manual does get quite in depth, and does take a bit of reading, but once you've got used to this game, it really is good fun. Now this game certainly is really good fun, and a great little gadget. And if you couldn't fit a pool table or snooker table in your house, then this was definitely a great solution. And I still can't get over how great games were back in the 1980s, especially the early 80s. I mean, this is quite a few years back now. And I still can't get over how good the quality of games were. And that's exactly why I've got another one in my collection from the early 80s. And that's this, Tomy's Tomitronic Alien Attack. Now in part 4, I reviewed the Tomitronic 3D game from Tomy. So if you haven't seen the background information on Tomy, here it is again. Now Tomy is known as Tomy 
or to Karatomi in Japan. The company was founded in 1924 and has made a vast amount of toys over the years, from anything from dolls to intelligent robots. And once again making another cracking game in the Tomitronic range, Alien Attack. Let's take a closer look. So as you've seen already, I've got the box, which is in pretty good condition. Uh, a few scuffs and that around, but hey, it looks pretty cool. Really futuristic looking packaging and really made it well. Uh, inside you've got polystyrene inserts at each end of the box to hold the game together. And the actual console itself is absolutely in mint condition. There are no scratches whatsoever on this. It really is good and it looks good too. Really simplistic designs and that, and it's perfect. Underneath you've got your battery compartment and you'll need to fit four C batteries inside of this. Or there is the option of using a mains adapter, which is excellent. Now if we take a closer look at the front of the game, on the left hand side you've got your up and down lever to move your spaceship up and down during gameplay. In the middle there you've got your amateur and pro position switch depending on how good you are. And at the very front you've got your on and off switch. On the right hand side you've got your start and fire button for starting the game and firing at your enemies during the game. Around the edge of the screen you've got a point system telling you when you've killed an enemy what kind of points you'll be getting. And then to power this thing up, as I said before, I've got my power adapter. So let's look at some gameplay. Okay, well if I just give you a bit of a gist of the actual game, uh, the actual box says, Who dares wins? Battle through missiles, meteorites and UFOs to blast the alien stronghold to destruction in this all-action electronic thriller. And it really is. It's really good fun. It's better than the other sort of games that I've been reviewing, uh, which just come down from the, you know, all the aliens come down from the top of the screen. This is an excellent side-scroller, and it kind of reminds me of our type a little, uh, with all the buildings and... Um, You've got the alien spaceships rising up from the ground to try and hit you. Uh, and it's awesome, it's really good fun. And yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. Now this game really is a great little cracker from Tomy. It really is great fun, especially as it's slightly different from the rest that I've showed you so far, as it's a side-scroller. Now if you'd like to own any of these, I'm sure you should be able to pick them up from a small amount of money. I mean, I didn't pay anything over £30 for either of these items, so I'm sure you can pick them up from anything from £10 to £30 or £10 to $30. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today once again, and I hope you'll stay tuned. We've got three more episodes before the end of the series, before I take a small break and start filming Series 2. Take care. Have a great weekend and thanks to you for watching. See you later.